Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have another CD haul, so let's get into it. So starting this, we have a Blind Buy CD. I am not familiar with the artist Lights, but this is Lights the Listening. I did only get this for like a dollar. It sounds pretty interesting the way they have it mixed, and her voice is pretty good, so this was definitely worth it. This is another Blind Buy from the uh, thrift store for a dollar, Ashley Faith. Again, I am not familiar with this artist at all and I never really listened to it much besides like a song or two. It sounds all right, kind of standard. I got a couple of Amy Winehouse CDs. We got Back to Black. Also, I believe this was her last album, uh, Lioness Hidden Treasures. Then to start going forward on my uh, Bon Jovi collection, I got some more Bon Jovi. What about now? These Days. And then a John Bon Jovi solo album, Destination Anywhere, which... I mean, this album was alright, but nothing really special. I really prefer Bon Jovi as a group more than just John Bon Jovi's solo albums. So then we got some more Alice Cooper albums. So this is Along Came a Spider. We also have From the Inside, Paranormal, and then also Trash. And we got a ton of Aerosmith CDs. So like we got Get a Grip, Just Push Play, Nine Lives. This was a like a live double CD set. Honkin' on Bobo. Pump. Music from Another Dimension. And then finally for the Aerosmith CDs, Rocks. Now I'm still missing about four or five Aerosmith CDs, so I will be picking those up in the future. Because I'm trying to go for a complete Aerosmith collection. You can see the other ones that I picked up in my latest CD hauls. So now we do have a Greatest Hits for the Shang release. I was looking for this... For a while and for some reason the cd was like 20 bucks on amazon for some reason so i waited for a seller to go cheaper with it this has pretty much all of the tracks i would want this was on amazon warehouse and it was for like only like four bucks or something the remixes for some of lady gaga's songs the remixes are actually pretty good too this was a very very cheap box set this was only like 25 dollars for all of their albums for the Ramones. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the albums after listening to them. I only like some of the songs, so I can see why it was a cheaper price. But you know what? For what it was, it's all right. Ramones are not my favorite band, but they're all right. Cher is someone else I'm trying to get a lot of her CDs of. So I got Love Hurts. Also, Closer to the Truth, which is her album in 2013. This might have been her most recent one. I don't know if she's made any since then. Here we have a Platinum Collection of greatest hits for David Bowie. This is like a three disc set, and this is really all I want of David Bowie. I'm not the biggest fan of David Bowie. I like some of his hits, but not like everything. So, you know, this is all I would really want, more than I would really want of David Bowie, to be honest. Now, I've been going for a collection of the 2000s Disney and Nickelodeon era artist CDs and stuff, which is kind of random, but it's something that I've been wanting to do. So, this is the Camp Rock 2 Final Jam soundtrack, which actually has some decent songs on it, like Introducing Me is pretty good, Wouldn't Change a Thing. I mean, there's a lot of decent songs on there. This is the Jonas Brothers 3D music uh, concert experience thing. This was also like a film that they recorded, and this has a duet with uh, the iconic song This Is Me with Demi Lovato and Jonas Brothers. It also has Taylor Swift to, with uh, Should Have Said No with uh, the Jonas Brothers, which is kind of unique to have. Now, this is the soundtrack for the Jonas Show, which is funny because they have them like the Abbey Road walk, you know, the iconic walk. And then there's like the Beach Boys surfboard type thing. It's kind of cool the way they did the cover. I think it's actually pretty cool anyway. And then it's another Jonas Brothers, Lines, Vines, and Trying Times. This is probably the best Disney soundtrack for the Disney movie soundtracks. I thought this was a really good movie, and then the soundtrack is actually really good. Like, Turn the Music, Turn Up the Music is a really good song. The Terminate is pretty good. She's So Gone, More Than a Band. Breakthrough. I mean, those are all great songs. Don't You Wish You Were Us was kind of like a funny thing. But, yeah, this is a pretty good soundtrack. Here's an early Justin Timberlake album, Justified. I don't know if this is his debut album or as close to his debut album. This is a self-titled album for Kari Job. Now, I bought this album as a complete blind buy. I think it was also on Amazon Warehouse. Little Mix 
And this was a really, really good album. This felt like a 1960s, 70s group made more modern with the way their songs were. And this is a really good album. So then knowing that I liked them, I picked up a couple of other, other albums like Glory Days, which some of the songs I enjoyed and some of them were just kind of bland. I feel like Get Weird was the only album that they made that I thought was really good from what I've heard so far. I also picked up the LM5 album which got even worse again. This was like from 2019, so it's like, a lot, as a lot of modern music went, it kind of got more stale, lifeless, and not anything really special besides for a couple songs. Like The Cure on this was a pretty good song, I thought. This was a group I got as a blind buy originally at Walmart. I randomly seen their 2021 album, I think, the college uh, dropout boogie, whatever album. I seen that, I bought it. And I thought mm, it was pretty good. And then I found their second album, or not their second, but a second album from them at Walmart. And I thought that was pretty good. So now I bought this one, which was also at Walmart, the Delta Cream for the Black Keys. And I think I'm going to go for a complete collection of the Black Keys. I really enjoy their like distorted classic rock. It's really unique sounding and cool. So then we got the greatest hits for the Jimi Hendrix Experience, which is all I really would want from. Jimi Hendrix, obviously. I believe, yeah, this is a soundtrack from Dolly Parton from the movie Dumplin'. I really don't know what this movie is. Soundtrack is pretty good. It has some, like, duets on, like, with Miranda Lambert uh, and different people, which is pretty good. This is probably the most iconic album from 2012, Lana Del Rey, A Born to Die. And it's a pretty decent album. It's kind of boring. Some parts of it can get kind of boring, but some of the songs are really masterpiece songs basically it's a really enjoyable overall album their disney soundtrack high school musical 3 <laughs> not much to say back on this besides the boys are back is actually a pretty good song i thought kind of catchy this was another amazon warehouse blind by cardi b privacy nothing really special besides the song ring was pretty good we got the very best of the doors which i was going to get the album collection for the doors but then i was like i don't really know if i would really love the doors that much to have all of their albums or just the greatest hits so then i just got the greatest hits which is pretty much all i would want from the doors another disney star which this is not actually on disney records this is actually on warner brothers records which i was surprised that it wasn't on hollywood records because i would have thought being in 2006 and 7 when she was on both High School Musical Sharpay and Maddie on Zack and Cody. She would have been signed with Hollywood Records, but apparently not for some reason. We got Ashley Tisdale. Ashley Tisdale's Guilty Pleasure. Also her album Headstrong. I believe that's her only two albums. I didn't see any other ones. And she had some alright songs on it, but she was kind of basic. So I can understand if she never made another album. Got Miley Cyrus's Plastic Hearts. And I did also pre-order her upcoming summer album i forget the official name but it one with flowers on it it's supposed to come out in a couple of months now the plain white tees all that we need this is the one with hater of the Lila. this is all i would really want of the plain white white tees you know it has some decent songs on there besides for hater delilah but that's obviously the main reason to buy it ashley simpson autobiography this is a very average album not really much going on to it but you know it's all right here is i believe the newest as of this date red hot chili pepper album return of the dream canteen it's all it's all right it's kind of it's better than a lot of modern music but it's just kind of average to me so i've been going for a complete collection for robert plant so i got lullaby and the ceaseless roar which is a pretty decent album i enjoyed it and then finally we have paramore the new album <laughs> that's really just included is this, is this literally just called the new album oh, yeah i think this is just a self-titled album so yeah, that's the Paramore album. And then really finally, finally, because I forgot about these, Depeche Mode, Songs of Faith and Devotion. I don't have anything by the... Oh, crap. <laughs> Almost knocked over Kanye West. I don't have anything by Depeche Mode before this, so this is my first Depeche Mode album. Never listened to it yet, so I can't really judge it. And then we got Daniel Powder's self-titled album. I only bought this for uh, You Had a Bad Day song. I like that song. I never heard the rest of it yet, so I can't really judge the album as a whole. But Bad Day is like the only reason I bought this album. Well, I do hope you enjoyed seeing these latest pickups. I will have more videos coming out soon. An updated CD collection for 2023 will also be out very shortly, probably in a couple days. So look out for that.